Miss Rachel and Bacchini. Today we're going to make a ponche navideño. De Navidad. De Navidad. Have you ever tried this drink before? If not, let's make it together. Are you ready? All right, come with us. This ponche navideño is a delicious warm drink, very similar to the United States uh, apple cider. So we need a lot of tropical fruits for this recipe. Come to our HEB and check out which ones we had available and why we were convinced to make ponche once we saw that they had every single thing that we needed. So first we needed some apples and some pears. And then there's fresh tamarind or tamarindo. And the key ingredient is going to be the tejocotes. These are also like a crab apple. And, and then guava or guayaba is another key ingredient. So we of course had to grab them and the sugar cane was right above it. Next, we got cinnamon sticks, raisins, and some dried prunes. Another important ingredient is going to be piloncillo or a type of brown sugar. Many other recipes call for hibiscus tea or hibiscus flour, and you can do that as well. I just think that that is a little tartar when it has that taste under it, but you can feel free to add any other ingredients that you'd like, any other dried fruits or something that you think would give it a good kick. The first step is to wash all that produce, get it nice and clean, clean it with baking soda, and then you're going to have to go through and peel the tamarind pods and make sure you pull that vein out that it has at the top of the bottom. And then these can go as is into the pot. You don't need to take the seeds out. Um, after that, you're gonna cut up all of the fruits into small pieces. Be aware when you're cutting the tejocotes because there are seeds, big seeds right in the middle, so you might have to cut from top down like we did, and that's more helpful. And the sugar cane, make sure you have a really sharp knife to get that skin off. Uh, cut up maybe three inch piece, and then you can add more or less as you like according to your taste for the, sweet the sweetness of it. And you're gonna get all of those ingredients ready. I'll put a list of the exact measurements down below. Ponche originally came from India where they called it ponch for the number five, which is because it had five main ingredients. And then it was brought by the Spaniards to Mexico during the time of the conquest. And Mexicans made it a million times better by adding all these delicious fruits. And there's over a hundred different types. So here's the way we did it. First, you're gonna add piloncillo, some cinnamon sticks and some tejocotes because they're a little hard. So you want them to boil down and get soft for 15 minutes. And then once those are boiling for 15 minutes, you're going to add the rest of your fruits and ingredients. We ended up adding some mandarin oranges in the end too. So you're going to bring it back to a boil once all of the ingredients are in, and then you're going to let it come down to a simmer for about an hour. After an hour, your house will smell amazing and give it a little taste and see if you would like to cook it down a little bit more. Ours was perfect at that time, so make sure you serve a glass with a little scoop of fruit in there and enjoy. It's perfect for a holiday party and it's great at keeping colds away because it's high in vitamins A, B, and C. All right, how did it turn out? Was your ponche really yummy? Did you like the ponche? Yes. <laughs> you know, if you would like to make ponche, you can always make it for a posada. Do you want to have a Christmas posada this year? Yes. Maybe we can make a piñata in the next video and show you guys how to make one. What do you think? Should we do that? I think I remember how. You think you remember how? All right. Well, if not, you have to come join us next week when we make another one. All right. Say bye, everyone. Bye. Adios. Adios.